Every little aspect of technology actually involves human interaction as well. It involves the social side and uh, using that social side in the entire design just makes it a lot better. Hey. Good morning, Vic. Frank Boston. I'm commercially responsible for one of our solution portfolios, the business technology platform, and some of the largest SAP Dutch customers. So customers such as Unilever, Heineken and ASML. I chose this master because I'm really interested in how people behave and respond and I really wanted to apply it to a technical field as well. Technology is everywhere around us and is becoming more and more important in our lives. Our students acquire a solid engineering background and at the same time learn how to approach problems from a psychological perspective. This unique combination is the only way to develop technology that really takes people into account. How did you actually end up at SOP? Like a lot of students, after my master I didn't know exactly what to do. And then I saw another student doing an internship in the US for six months. And I thought, ah, that sounds like a great opportunity. And they shipped me for six months to Silicon Valley basically to do their traineeship. It was a great opportunity and that really also set me up for the rest of a successful career at SAP. The thing I learned the most about how people interact with technology is mostly that it's always different. Everyone has a different view on things and it depends on uh, your background, on your technical abilities. Meaningful project to me was an extracurricular project that I worked on where we created an autonomous and interactive drone uh, to evacuate nursing homes. Uh, and the great thing about this project was that I could take the lead in the interactive side of the drone and I could really apply the knowledge I learned with my studies in this project and see, okay, I can actually bridge this gap between the end users and the technology. Do you actually feel like your studies helped you get to that position? And are you still using the skills you learned there? My first role was pre-sales and it's more on the content side, more on the user centered. So what we did there was many design thinking sessions. We did many user research sessions. And what does a customer do on a daily basis? What systems does he touch? And where can we improve? That was really my first role. And there I saw many overlap in the HDI uh, content. I personally see myself working in either consultancy or maybe in more of a startup uh, situation where I can actually like see the, the difference I make in a smaller team.